Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what is the use of compiling in Java? Let me answer this question. So, in general, before you run any Java code, first we have to compile it. But why we have to compile the Java code before running it? If you don't compile the Java code before running it, Java will not allow you to run the Java code. But why? What is the need of compiling the Java code before running it? Let me answer in this session. First of all, what is compiling? Compiling is the process of converting the Java source code, which is originally there in English language, to some white code that can be understood by something known as JVM, Java Virtual Machine. Okay, Converting the English language formatted Java source code to some byte code, okay, which can be understood by JVM, Java Virtual Machine. So, what will happen if JVM understands this, uh, you know, uh, byte code and all? JVM will be able to run the code in the machine wherever it is available, okay? In order to run the Java code, first we have to compile it, okay? Compiling is a process of converting the source code, Java source code, which is originally there in English format to some byte code that JVM can understand. That is compiling. That's what is compiling. But here, what is the use of compiling in Java is the question. If you know what is compiling, but why we have to compile? What is the use of, of compiling? What are the advantages of compiling? I'm going to cover. These are the answers for this particular question. There are a lot of uses of compiling. Okay. There are a lot of uses or advantages of compiling. Okay. Needs of compiling. But I am listing only the major ones. The first major important one is error checking. As part of compiling, error checking will be done. Okay. If the Java program code written by us is not according to the rules and regulations of Java language. Okay. Java defined rules and regulations. If our Java code is not following, then we may get some kind of errors like syntax errors and whatever the type of errors. Okay. So these errors are all about, they are not othering, they are not according to the rules and regulations of Java programming language. So that error checking will be done by, okay, by the process of compiling. When you compile, Java will check whether the code that is written by us is according to the rules and regulations, is following the rules and regulations of the Java programming language. If not, we will get compiler error simply. That error checking is advantage of compiling. Because of you compile, error checking is automatically done. Syntax of Java is being checked and errors uh, will be reported and so will not be able to run the programs. Then platform independent is the next advantage or use of compiling. Okay, error checking is not only you, not only the use, but we also have other users, important users like platform independent thing. That means, you see, wherever you write the Java code, you write the Java code in one of the version in Windows machine and just give that code. Once you have written that code, just copy paste and give or email that code to your colleague who is actually using a different operating system containing machine like Mac machine or Linux machine. And your friend or your colleague who is using a different machine should be able to run it without any problem. But how that is possible? We have written in Windows machine, but when you share it to your friend or colleague, your friend or colleague is able to run the code in a different machine like Mac or uh, Linux machine. But how that is possible? That is possible because Java is platform independent. But how Java is platform independent? Because of the process of compiling. Because we have something known as compiling in Java, platform independent thing is possible in Java. What happens is when you write the code in Windows machine, Okay, when you write the code in Windows machine, as part of compiling process, our Java source code, which is there in English format, will get converted to the byte code that JVM of any Java can understand, JV, JVM of Java can understand. In Windows machine, when you install Java, along with Java, you'll get JVM of that particular Windows machine only. If you download and install Java in Mac machine, the JVM of such Mac machine will be there. Okay, if you download and install Java in Linux machine, JVM of such a Linux machine will be there. So any JVM can understand the byte code. Any JVM can understand the byte code. 
which is a resultant of compiling, right? When you compile the Java source code in English format, it will get converted to byte code. That byte code can be understood by any J JVM of Java, whether that JVM is there in Windows machine doesn't matter, whether that JVM is there in a Linux machine doesn't matter, whether that JVM is there in uh, Mac machine doesn't matter, okay? Appropriate JVM will be in, uh, installed along with Java in appropriate machines. So there is no need to bother. That's how the Java is platform independent, guys, okay? So the byte code can be understood by JVM of such such machine, JVM of which is compatible with that machine, okay? So JVM can convert it into the machine code. JVM of that machine, Windows machine or Linux machine or Mac machine will convert into the byte code that can be understood by their machines like Mac, Mac or Windows or Linux. So hence, Java is platform independent and that's how compiling is one of the use, okay? Platform independent thing is one of the use of compiling. Because of you compiling, we are getting the byte code that JVM of such platform independent machines can understand, different platforms can understand, okay? JVMs of different platforms can understand. That's how Java is platform independent, okay? That's a, that's a result of compiling only. Then security, when you compile, Java also will check the security things, okay? If any problems are there, it will, uh, you know, it cannot convert from source code to the Java source code to the byte code. If it is converted to the byte code, you can transfer it anywhere and uh, there is no, you know, uh, security problem anywhere, okay? Like the many, many users are there, but this first two are the major ones. Error checking and platform independent thing are the major resultants of compiling in Java. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. That is what is the use of compiling in Java? Error checking and platform independent are the two major uses of compiling in Java. That's why we have to compile before running the code in Java. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.